Shalom and blessings, everybody. Um, I'm not too sure what I want to say. I just know there's something on my mind. Um, there's a lot of stuff going on. And um, I'm trying to figure out how I want to say what I need to say. Um, we got a lot of division among our people. So I'm trying to figure out a way a solution that will help us come together as a people because we're coming in a time that we're going to have to actually come together as a people regardless of how we feel you know all the um, different things we uh, disagree on and what we have to understand is that you know whether we like it or not we are rolling up um, into critical times and we're still off track. We're still off track and we're right now we're like sitting ducks. We're like sitting ducks and our enemies are preparing and they're coming together. Now I don't think all nations of the world are, um, well I don't think every single person in every nation of the world is our enemies, but you do have a large majority of the people that are our enemies that are coming against us that are, are, are preparing to you know come against the holy remnant and even those of other gentile nations who have also uh sided and walked with the most high so particularly us though we're going to have to come together as a people because we're coming up on hard times but yet we are still running around here clowning and we got so much division among our people that it's making us uh, that much more of an easy target. You know, we're sitting ducks and this is starting to be um, outrageous. I mean, I'm seeing these things go on. So we're going to have to come up with some type of solution where we can start to um, come together uh, as a people and you know get ready for the things that are coming ahead because whether you like it or not it's right around the corner and if y'all don't get it together you're going to be caught off guard you're going to be caught off guard in such a way that man I, I, can, I probably can't even explain the feeling you know, you're going to feel like your whole life is over when it happened because it's going to be like a big bang all of a sudden. It's just here. But we see it coming, but a lot of people just choose to be doing everything else. I'm not saying that you can't live your life and do this and that. You know what I'm saying? I ain't saying stop living, you know, do what you need to do in this world to, to survive, you know, keep, you know, climbing the ladder to success. But also don't forget you know what's going on on the other side of the fence and also be, be pre uh, preparing for that also we can't continue to look off into the future blindly and not realize that these things are coming upon us and yet we just sitting around and not doing anything about it and the only way we're going to get to the place that we need to get to is if we come together as a people <clears throat> Now, I can't speak for, you know, all our people all around the world, but right now, I can talk about us right here in the U.S. <clears throat> we are very divided. It's a lot of division, and this is actually really starting not to make any sense. And y'all going to have to figure out what we're going to do. It doesn't matter, you know, if you think a second exit of this second exodus is coming it doesn't matter if you think uh, we're supposed to be staying here uh, in America waiting for the most high but I'll tell you this you know regardless of the situation 
you know, you're going to find yourself in a hard um, place. That just say it ain't no second exodus. That means you have to stay here. And that means your enemies, hey, look, they're going to mount up against you. So then what? You think you're going to be living in some type of comfort zone? It ain't going to be like it is right now. Day and night, you're going to be running from your enemies. You ain't going to be living in the comfort of your home. When these people come to kill, they come to kill. You think you've seen something now. You ain't seen nothing yet. I mean, yeah, our people are getting killed a lot, you know, in the streets uh, by the police and stuff like that. But really, that's like 1% uh, compared to what's coming. You, you, We really ain't seen nothing yet. This is actually nothing compared to what's on the way. And y'all going to have to start getting ready, you know? Live your life and prepare for what's coming. <clears throat> but the only way we're going to be ready as a people is if we come together as a people and start preparing for the things ahead. And which right now we are not doing. We are not doing that to any type of level. We're just sitting around <clears throat> on social media, going back and forth with one another, fighting over nothing that you can't change unless we come together in person. You know, everybody's arguing over everything. This the name. That's the name. That's Jerusalem. We're supposed to stay here. You know what I'm saying? Esau, white and black. Look, I'm going to tell you something. Regardless of what you think, none of these things are going to get corrected unless we come together as a people and then we correct it from the inside. And we need to come together as a people. And I'm going to tell you something. You can't worry about everybody else. You can't worry about the ones who don't want to come together. You, you're going to always have people who's going to talk against us coming together. Now, give or take, some of them might be agents. And then the other ones, they're just stupid. But regardless of the matter, regardless of the fact, you can't worry about them. Don't worry about them. Because I'm going to tell you something. If the remedy, if we get our minds right and we come together, regardless of whether they're talking about it, they're going to stay on the outside. They're going to be looking in. But even that remnant is going to be so big and so powerful that they ain't going to have no choice but to come in from the outside back in. Because it puts them in a position, you know, where they now stand alone and now we're the majority. Uh, the majority. You, you can't let people talk you out of something that's uh, more powerful and that's going to move us to a better place. <clears throat> the Most High in the Scriptures is telling us to come together as a people. Y'all want to see the Most High move, but yet you're not in a position for Him to move. And what I'm saying is we got to come together. And that's when He'll move. And then He'll start correcting things. Within the inside, everything that needs to be removed from our people, washed out of our people, cleansed out of, uh, uh, you know what I'm saying, uh, uh, cleansed out of our people, the most I do that when we come together, you know, y'all want to argue and fight about this and that, hey, look, that's, that's cool, but this is what I'm going to tell you right here, okay, I'm, look, I'm not saying that we have to come together and agree with everything that each and one of us say, okay? I'm just, that is not what I'm saying. We can come together and still be in disagreement. That's what y'all have to understand. We can come together and still be in disagreement about many things. But if you want to fix those things, then we have to come together to fix it. First, we need to come together. And let's get everybody else out of our business and we come together and we fix the things from the inside out. 
So whatever you you know saying you 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 think the next person is 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 wrong about, hey, you know what? Let's come together. Let's get ourselves right first, and let's prepare for our other other enemies that's on the outside of us. And then after we get that straight, then we can take care of the other matters among ourselves. You see what I'm saying? We come together. We can take care of the other matters among ourselves. I don't know how that wouldn't make sense to you. Whatever you think that the most high is against, hey, you know what? He'll take care of it from that point on. Even if he had to kill a couple of people, that's just what it would have to be. But first, let's put all these other things aside. You don't have to agree, you know, with everything everybody else saying, but yet we can still come together. And then after that, everything else I get taken care of. We'll take care of it ourselves when we come together. <clears throat> but y'all going to have to step up, y'all. This is not, you know, we're getting too close to the times to still be acting the way that we're acting. I don't agree with a lot of stuff a lot of y'all say. A lot of y'all just be acting out. You be, you know, there's a lot of crazy stuff going on. But hey, look, at the end of the day, this is what it is. Y'all gonna have to step up to the plate. Y'all supposed to be lions and lioness. So what are we doing? Because right now, we look crazy. We look a mess. We look a mess to these other nations of people. And we're being laughed at. But regardless of that, I believe in you. I do. Because I know that we can do it. We can do it. We can step up. We can take it to another level. But you got to be willing to do it. Just put one foot ahead of the other and just, you know what I'm saying? Make that step. And it'll happen. That's all you got to do. <clears throat> Regardless of the fact, look, I'm going to always be a voice in the Hebrew community for my people. That's one thing. Look, I'm never going to turn on my people. I'm never going to turn on the most high. I'm never going to turn on my people. Yeah, I do believe a lot of our people, they got a whole lot of issues, you know. But like I said before, whoever needs to get cut off, get cut off. <clears throat> but turning my back on my people, what sense does that make? How would that make me any better if I turn my back on my people? So that ain't going to happen. So I'm going to always be a voice over here in the Hebrew community and, um, until we get straight. But y'all gonna have to be some lions, man. It's time for y'all to step up. The men, you, you first. Y'all gonna have to step up to the plate. Don't worry about the women. The women come if you come. You know. But the men need to step up. And yes, you women need to also step up too. As in coming together. We gotta come together as a people. And we gotta start working on this stuff right now. Regardless of what you believe different from what the next person believes. But we have to come together as a nation of people. We don't have to come together under the fact that we agree on everything. But we have to come together as a nation of people. Do you understand what I'm saying? As a nation of people. And then everything else will get taken care of. Among ourselves. We got to start working on this. Um, look, y'all. Y'all are going to have to step up. I hate to keep repeating myself. <laughs> but, man, this is crazy. What is arguing on social media going to get you? It ain't going to get you nowhere. You know, at the end of the day, the next day, you right back to square one. You know what I'm saying? You got nowhere. 
if somebody got their mind made up about something, you ain't going to change their mind. And every now and then, you know, you might get a couple. And then they're going to also get a couple. But, you know, for the most part, you ain't, look, you ain't changing nobody's mind. And all you're doing is arguing and causing strife among one another. Again, you don't, I ain't saying you have to agree with anybody. I don't agree with, you know, a, 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 a whole bunch of people on a lot of different things, you know. And at the end of the day, look, I'm going to teach you what I teach. And I say they're going to teach you what they teach. But I still know. I got enough sense in my head to know that we have to come together as a nation of people to resolve all these matters among ourselves and to get prepared for what's coming ahead, for what's really about to happen. And if y'all not prepared for that, then y'all about to see some straight up um, damage happen, okay? A lot of you, man, y'all, y'all think y'all really seeing something now. Y'all just wait. There's some stuff on the way. Some of you know what I'm talking about, but it's, it's some real stuff on the way. It's some real stuff on the way. And we need to get together, start making plans for this, that, and the other. You know what I'm saying? I, again, it doesn't matter whether you think we're supposed to leave here or stay here. Regardless, we need to come together and start talking about these things before it roll up on us. You don't want to start talking about this stuff and talking about we need to get together when it's right here in front of our face. It's already headed towards us. But you want to wait till it get right here and then you want to start talking about it, man? We better start talking about this right now. So my question is, what y'all want to do? Right now, we're not acting like no lions. And the women are acting like no lioness. We're acting like some cubs. Crying. Arguing about everything. You know? They're looking at a, a nation in a mess, laughing. Like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? We got them trapped, and for the most part, they're right. The Most High is not going to do everything for us. A lot of the stuff we have to do for ourselves. And then when he see us doing for ourselves, then he comes to back us. That's what y'all going to have to realize. So again, y'all better start getting ready. It's now never, um, you know... It's just a lot of things that, you know, we have to talk about, you know what I'm saying, go over, uh, uh, make plans about, and, you know, coming together as a people, um, putting a lot of things aside just to get to where we need to get to. These are the things that we should be discussing. What do y'all want to do? This is a, a message to the awakened ones. <clears throat> okay? I didn't really know what I wanted to say, but I guess that's just how it came out. So, um, hey, look. I'm going to come at y'all again and again and again until y'all get some understanding about this. We got to start pulling together, regardless of our disagreements arguments and all these other things that we bickering over that ain't gonna work I'm telling you now it's not gonna work and y'all do not want to get caught off guard and this stuff is rolling up fast regardless of how long you think we got it's a short time okay um that's all I had to say but uh anyway y'all stay up Shalom and much blessings to you.